live look out of Indianapolis this morning from our tower cam. Get used to the gray view for today. Jim tracking scattered showers and storms around the area. We'll have a full check of the forecast in just a couple of minutes. Jessica. All right, Daniel. As COVID restrictions ease and Indiana starts to open back up, there are some new etiquette rules to consider, especially when it comes to maybe returning to work to the office after a year of working from home, interacting with people on a daily basis. You can expect that to look a little bit different now. Joining me from Austin, Texas, is etiquette expert Sharon Schweitzer. Sharon, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you for having me as a guest. Absolutely. I think a lot of people maybe have these same thoughts and same questions. So I'm, I'm glad you're here. It is important to remember, you know, people will have different comfort levels, different thoughts on things. How, first of all, should we greet one another if we haven't seen each other in a while? You know, that is something that everyone's wondering about. And the best thing you can do is ask. If, because people are going to have different risk levels. Mm -hmm. So you can say, are you comfortable if I shake your hand? Would you prefer to do a virtual shake? And some people like to hug. And if you know this person as a hugger, you can say, you know, I'm not hugging people yet. Do you mind if we do a virtual hug? Or just even do this, hug yourself and say, you know, I'd rather us just kind of do a virtual hug for now until maybe things are you know, we've reached herd immunity or we're all vaccinated. Yeah, you never know someone's situation or their family situation back at home. Um, what about having lunch or just even chatting in the office with your coworkers? Part of that is going to depend on your employer's guidelines. Okay. Many times before you return back to the office, the employers have spent a lot of time and effort to come up with guidelines. So maybe the employee cafe has uh, been partially shut down or they move tables or they've enforced some social distancing so you're going to want to read those guidelines and you're going to want to follow what the employer has put in place the other thing you're going to want to do is kind of make some decisions about what your boundaries are before you return to the workplace so if you're not comfortable going out to lunch with folks yet mm -hmm. make some decisions about whether you're going to want to go outside go in a park eat in your um, vehicle whether you're going to want to bring your own lunch what you're going to want to do. And if you are comfortable going out with people, make a decision as to how many days a week you're going to want to do that. But, you know, have your own risk assessment done before you go back to the workplace so that you're not caught off guard about what you want to do. What about meetings now? Should employees return to in-person meetings with one another or even client meetings? Well, again, follow what your employer has set forth. Many times employers are going to say, here's what we'd like you to do. We want you to check with the client or the customer and say, you know, we are setting up meetings with our clients and customers. Are you comfortable meeting with us? You know, what are your guidelines? Do you want us to come to your office? Are you meeting in a third place? Are you staying with virtual meetings? You know, what is your comfort level here? And what are your guidelines for your workplace? Because everyone is different. Every you know, organization has their own culture. And so people are going to be doing a little bit of a dance to find out <laughs> what that is and follow that. Trying to see how everybody else feels about that. It's also important, you know, if someone feels differently than you or they say, hey, I don't need a hug. I'm not there yet. Don't be offended by that. Just respect their decision. That's right. That's right. Because, you know, in the U.S. especially, we, some of us are, are very much risk takers and other ones are not. And so we're going to have to respect that risk tolerance level. Some people are going to say, oh, my gosh, I'm so happy the mask is off. And other people are going to say, you know, I'm not quite ready to take mm -hmm. that mask off yet. I have an elderly parent or I have a child who is immune compromised or um, my physician told me not to take that vaccine because of a health condition I have. I, I have to be more cautious than other people. And that's not going to be apparent. People don't walk around with that sign on them. So we're all going to have to be kind. We're going to have to be gentle with other people. Right. And we're not going to just have to make assumptions that everyone is at the same level of risk um, that we are. All right, don't make assumptions. Sharon Schweitzer, thank you so much. Hopefully things get back to normal soon, and, and we'll all get there. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, Jim, we are going to send it over to you. Still ready.